Hey, hi, welcome back to the series of financial safety sessions. I am Dota Krishna Hema, your financial safety expert. So today we would like to discuss about functional safety assurance activities or the confirmation reviews. So what are these confirmation reviews? These confirmation reviews are very specific to financial safety work products. These are the listed work products. It is usually in the form of table, but I have listed it out just to make it easy. Okay. Uh, the things are like HARA, that is Hazard Analysis and Risk Assessment, Safety Plan or Safety Management Plan, Item Integration and Testing Plan, validation plan, safety analysis, software tool criteria, proven in use arguments, completeness of the safety case or the safety case completeness or functional safety audit, functional safety assessment, impact analysis, FSC and TSC that is functional safety concept and technical safety concepts. All confirmation reviews are completed or should get completed before safety assessment. So uh, everyone will get confused with the verification reviews and confirmation reviews. Both are different. Uh, but see the review is review mechanism is common. Uh, but like there is these are the uh, a perfect combination of verification reviews and the confirmation reviews resulted results in high highly quality high quality safety adhered product okay so what exactly is confirmation review and what exactly is verification review confirmation review is nothing but a review which is conducted in adherence with safety standards that is iso 26262 or uh, sortif or verification review is something like it is conducted with respect to the technical requirements of the product. Uh, so it's like, you know, uh, which is very confirmation review is very specific to ISO 26262 work products. So we have come across a list of work products in the previous slide. So those all work products should get definitely the confirmation review. But wherein the verification review uh, should cover the technical project technical requirements uh, so confirmation review should be independent independent means like there should not be any dependency on while while they are conducting the audit that means the confirmation review who's conducting by the functional safety assessor so functional safety um, assurance person like he should be competent enough to perform uh, the confirmation review independently but the verification review does not need to be independent because it is a technical review right so technical review uh, means some parts of the document may need the inputs from an architect some parts of the document may need an input from a developer some parts of the review of the document may get may need uh, the review from a tester so like that there is a dependency so that means like you know not independency sometimes it is it could be covered by one person but sometimes it may not so independence is not required so the aim of the confirmation review is to ensure that the product is in compliance with the requirements of functional safety series of standards but verification review is like its aim is our product is developed with respect to the requirements of the product technical requirements of the product uh, the next concept is functional safety audit it is like to ensure on the process implementation it see uh, we need to demonstrate that my uh, my product or the my safety item is following process kind of so to exhibit process demo demo that means we need to demonstrate that my product is defined or developing with respect to functional safety so in general these functional safety audits shall be completed prior 
to function, functional safety assessment so your confirmation reviews should get completed by before uh, functional safety assessment also the functional safety audit audit also audits also there could be a series of audits like you know uh, in the middle of the product development just like your uh, regular product audits or project audits uh, so audits shall cover the necessary processes with respect to the ASIL ratings of item. So organizational quality assurance people may also can means like can also conduct this audit because if they have a competency on functional safety implementation. We have come across confirmation reviews and functional safety audits. So once after these things like uh, once after completion of the product development with respect to the functional safety. So we need to get it assessed called functional safety assessment. So this should be done before releasing it releasing the product to the pro product for production or your safety item into the production. So it can be conducted at once as a single event um, or you can be it can be conducted as multiple events progressively uh, so this is nothing but it is an evidence compilation uh, for a safety case argument or claim so it is like you know it is a mandatory step and it is it is highly recommended for the functional safety development competence of uh, the assessor also will be considered here because in order to maintain the independence in the assessments the uh, assessor should have uh, the functional safety not only the functional safety standard knowledge sh he should have he or she should have uh, this required technical competence in order to perform the assessment so i came to the end of this topic like if you like this concept click on the like button if you want further more automotive videos subscribe to my channel thank you